I could have been. I could have been. I could have been your number one. Got one about carnival. My mind is about like police brutality and shit. Yeah, it's pretty badass. But I take it like more. Most of my shit end up sexual and shit, man. So it sounds sexual, like I'm being molested, brutalized by the cops. But I make it sound like it's sex. All right. Yeah. How long you been doing it? Just about three years. Serious. Now it's kind of like shooting up that whole gay hip hop shit. It's kind of been. Coming up, man. Shit. Just did the homo hop. Yeah, I just did the homo hop up in Oakland. How's that? What's that? Was like all the gay rappers from like around the country. The homo hop, man. It was just so fucking badass stuff. Homo hop? You just see all the fucking uh, talent, man. You just don't realize it. Just like all the out rappers and out hip hop artists all out there. Fucking lesbian rappers. Is it a big scene? Yeah, yeah. It's getting up there, dog. But what's the difference between, like, gay and straight rap? What's the difference? Yeah. I think the only difference is just, like, in the lyrics you'll hear about, like, the females, they rapping about doing females and some of their lyrics and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of my lyrics, I might have some shit about, like, you know, if I'm getting political, I might talk about some homophobia shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Or in my raps, you know, I'll be talking about doing dudes instead of girls. Mm -hmm. That's the main fucking difference, I think. Put it all oh, I thought this was a bad ah! thing. It's not feeling this chain. His perception of Deadly is, you know, that he's this really hardcore guy, and that he's, you know, this this basically the personification of the homo thug that we keep hearing about, you know, and and when people hear about that, some people say, you know, isn't that, you know, some hardcore gangster thing? Isn't that really kind of counterproductive and negative and, and songs that are violent, whatever? Isn't that really just like, you know, a bunch of bullshit and negative? And, and it's funny because I think what Deadly is, is really excellent at doing is taking a hardcore aesthetic and just kind of distilling it down to what the basic themes are. Yeah, you know, in some of his son's songs, there's a gun, but you know, the gun is a dick and the dick is power. Just go out to all you fake ass gangsta wannabes. Trying to set me down, intimidate me. I'm the true gangsta motherfucker. And um, I think people get disarmed at, at the presentation. Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Are you down? If you're down, get your son. Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Are you down? If you're down, get your son. Suck, suck, suck my gum. Other other rappers like sort of hint about the sort of like phallic overtones of carrying a gun, and Deadly writes a song called "Suck My Gun" and sticks a gun in your face and like tells you that like his gun's about to go off. Who else out there? Who else out there sucks my gun? Fifty Cent sucks my gun. Eminem sucks my gun. DMX, you bitch, you suck my gun. Oh, George Bush, suck my gun. Man, it doesn't mean like just because you're a gay rap artist that you need to embrace it. Everybody, you don't need to like everything. But I think it's cool that we're like accepting of it. And just like that homo hop, it was cool because there's so many different flavors there. This is our generation of people. That is really a new generation of homosexuality and gay identity. When people start giving you these kind of subtle messages that, oh, you know, why are you doing that? Why do you have to talk about this? Why do you have to put that, include that in your song or in what you're trying to do? Well, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Somebody get me a tell!